All right, boys, we're going to do a little Pose Plus here. This is Galaxy Cyclone Bragger. Now, like a lot of the robots out there, I either know a little bit, not enough, or barely anything at all. If you've been watching the channel for a, a while, you know that my whole thing is the design. All right. Um, if the design looks good, if I like it, I'll get it. I might not know anything about it, but hey. So I didn't notice down here. I don't know if these three guys are part of like uh, the set or something. Like um, kind of like they did with the Force 5 back in the day or if this is a real trio. I know he's coming out um, soon, the green one here, but... I think he's a lot shorter, and I don't really care for him. He kind of looks plain. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at the picture here, he kind of looks like a little Transformer-ish. Don't really care too much for that. So I open the top. I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to take this thing out. Look at this box, boys. I mean, look at that armor. Like, really, I fucking wish. I'll tell you right now, if King Arts did this, it would be amazing. Okay, so here's a couple pegs that are for if you want to switch his hands out. Because I think he has these like mechanical claw hands, which I might leave. I'm not sure. I don't have any uh, robots kind of with a different hand aesthetic like that, I don't think, that I can think off the top of my head. But anyway, here's the J1, J9, uh, 2, dash 2, instruction manual. All right. Sleeve opens up. I love that artwork. Nothing on the back, just the pose plus symbol. Oh, wow. This looks good, guys. A little nameplate. All right, let's get this open. Um, just disclaimer. If you want to see the car mode, maybe find another channel, uh, another review on that. I'm just going robot mode. I'm not going to get into all the transformation. Um, two things. I, I just noticed this now that I'm with you guys here. Look, it sucks that he doesn't come transformed. The fact that I can't transform him into the robot. Kind of like uh, the 5 Pro Voltron. Um, the three zero Voltron, it's already pretty much formed to Voltron. You just got to connect it, um, which is kind of cool, I guess, because I, you know, I don't really fuck with the lions like that. Um, I'm all about it for the robot. So that's one bad thing. The other thing is having, um, oh, some tape on here. You know, you don't have to mess. If you're ever going to put it away, you want to resell it, something like that. You don't have to transform it back. You can just kind of put it back in the box with minimal effort. Um, I don't really sell too much of my stuff, but there has been a couple things where I was like, ah, oh, you know, I just, I'm not in the mood to put it back. So there's a couple pros and cons about it, but it sucks not being able to form your robot. You know, it's already kind of done for you. But as you can see on the back here, here are the car pieces. Um, he comes with a couple shoulder cannons, which I think is cool. I might keep them on him. Um, again, I'm not into the robot like that. The only thing I kind of don't like, I know it's right in the front. I don't like these things. I was almost thinking about maybe removing them. If I could do it safely and put them back on. I mean, I'm not going to remove them if it's going to break it. I'll just probably live with it. It's part of the robot. But it's the really the only thing I didn't care for. They kind of just... That chess shit. Mazinger Z and all them robots barely get away with it. This guy is just... It's right out in the front here. Alright, here's the bottom tray. So this is taped on here. So if you take this off... Oh, alright, there's a little tabs. So I was going to say, if you untape this, just make sure... But there's a couple corners on the bottom that show you how it goes back on. 
Just in case. Sometimes that happens with these packages. The Japanese know how to package stuff, I'll tell you that much. And here's the boy himself. So, I think there's a oh, yeah, little more tape. I cut the back off. I'll cut this. I'll cut that. It's all cut up. Now, one of the best parts, the weight. This is the first time. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he got some weight to him, boys. Let's check out this little slut. Fucking little slut. Alright, good. Put him back there for a second. He comes with open face. There's a little tab kind of by the top of the head behind there that just goes in. He's a kind of cool design. All right, it took a little while. Look at here's some die cast in there with the joints. That looks great. That looks amazing. So. Just sipping some of my syrup. Ooh, boy. So here, this is what I wanted to go for. The look. All right. These come up for some reason. These little tabs. You can probably attach something. It might be for transformation mode. Alright, so I could use the panels and make the legs um, solid, but you know what? Those exhaust pipes for one of the cars doesn't bother me. So it's non-perfect, um, you can do perfect transformation. So here's the leg pieces. I'll just throw those in back in the box. Um, I'm going to get the cannons on. So this guy is pretty good, pretty decent. I'm gonna do the bigger hands. And I also found out, check this out. Fuck, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Thumb. All right, kind of cool hands. Can hooks, dude, mantis hooks. Look at that, it's pretty dope. All right, so, non-perfect transformation um, legs. I just wanted to keep those on. I think they look cool. So I'll leave those. I'm gonna switch the hands. So here is the hands comparison. Oh, these open up. Another small thing I noticed here, which is really cool. Look at that. They're on a, like a ball joint. So you have that kind of movement. Hands just peg right in. Easy. Look at that. That's so cool how they move. So I would definitely recommend this guy off the bat. The one thing I do have to say is that his standing is... It's a little hard for him to stand. Out of all the pose plus that I have so far, he, you know... He needs the most help to stand. You just got to be careful on that one. See? I've been putting them a little...
See, he's a little, uh, little rocky on the standing. So you just have to be careful in that aspect. Another thing to note, so the hands I was talking about earlier, so the pegs are in here if you want to switch them. The hands are sold separately. I've never seen any besides the Gao Gai Gar option set. I've never seen any option sets or any add-ons for the Artstorm Post Plus. Um, except for like the future things, but hmm, kind of weird. You get two of these... I guess tank guns. The handle. So this is kind of cool. Some flexibility here to get it adjusted properly. All right, and there's, put that in somewhere. I'll show you guys because the back, it's, I don't know, it's a little weird. Again, the Japanese, man, they're, they're good with this stuff. So you take the two guns. There's a middle piece here. You want to attach one of the guns. It just slides in the slot. You want to put it over this and then kind of come around because it slides into the backpack. These guns squeeze in. So you just kind of kind of do it right. That's all. So now, see these blade things, I know it can go here or whatever, but the back panels just kind of tuck in. Unless there's something I'm not doing, but it seems to fit and snug it, secure it pretty well. Yeah, it shows them in the picture like... I don't know. I'll try to figure the cannons out because they look shit. I'll save you guys, or try to save you the aggravation. So you pull this down. These are for the chest blades. Be careful. I mean, Artstorm's pretty good engineering, so you don't have to... But just be careful. So, this one's tucked in. And that left side, I unhinged. So what you want to do is... Get the blade... Lift it up out of there. Okay? That's what you want to do first. Then you want to adjust it up. One last thing to note, so behind here, where these two meet, there's not, where the chest closes on here, there's not a lot of room, and there's a couple tabs that stick out. So you can't really put them wherever you want, but there's, it's kind of slotted, I guess you could say. So, and there you go. Much better, boys. Much better. So, the only thing I'm thinking, oh, that doesn't go back too far. I mean, you could put it down like that. Get it out of the way. He opens up, pulls you towards him for the stabbing fatality. I just made that up. So, looking good, boys. It's a little funky. You know how it is. It's almost like a little puzzle game to flip this shit around sometimes. But you can put the... Have him... Put the rockets back and have him... So you gotta, like, pull this forward. Oops, hold on. I did it the wrong way. There we go. So you can have the backpack like that. I don't know, I think I think I'll leave it on. I think I'll decide. Yeah, why not? I'll leave the backpack on. Give him a little juice. Let's take another look, boys. So again, amazing figure by Pose Plus. They do a Go Shogun. And what I'm going to do is I'll do a comparison video with these guys.
All right. He's a little bent down at the knee. So we're going to go like fully standing up, I'll say 11 inches. Okay. We got 11 on the inch. See, that standing is the problem with this guy. Can always expect quality from Artstorm, though. Pose plus line. All right. That's with the backpack. So a good pound and a half. Little over. But yeah, this guy's great. I would definitely pick him up. No problems with him. Little finicky on the transformation, but they had to squeeze it all in. All right, boys. Keep collecting. Keep it alive.